Go ahead and write your name and the period, okay? At the top of this page, you're going to need two things today, your compass and what we call, what do we call the other thing that we were using yesterday? I cannot pick it up. Thank you, protractor. So this thing, now it doesn't matter if it's a protractor, all that we need to have is something that has a straight side, okay? I would not prefer a piece of paper that doesn't work that well because it can bend. Something that's going to make a straight line, okay? Now, the first blank is the title of our page right here. It is a construction. Go ahead and fill that in. Construction. Today we are talking about constructions, right? So how do you make a construction? If we keep reading, it says it's a geometric drawing that uses a limited set of tools, usually a compass, which is this, and a straight edge, which will be the straight part of this. Okay? Could you use a ruler? Sure. You could use anything that's literally straight that will help you make a straight line. Using these two tools, you can do constructions. Using a compass and a straight edge to construct a segment that is congruent to a given segment and an angle that is congruent to a given angle. So, if you can read, all of your steps for doing constructions are on this page. You could literally read it and follow the instructions. But, I know it helps when I'm guiding you along, so we're going to guide along through these steps to construct a segment. So here's the first thing we're learning today, how to copy a segment. So look at step one. What does it say? Draw a segment, and I'm going to add, um, and uh, add a point near the end of it, okay? So what I want you to do in this little space down here where it says do the construction, we're going to do the construction, all right? Now, you can, like I said, you can write with the pencil on here. But what I said earlier, these are fragile. Uh, just be careful that you're not pushing down too hard. You don't want to bust it up or break the tip. So go ahead and draw a long segment here. Okay? And like I added on here, you want to add a point somewhere near the end. Okay? So everybody at this point should have a line drawn with the little point near the end. Okay? Use the straight edge. Earlier someone was drawing it freehand, and that's not what I want. Okay, so step one, draw a segment at a point. Step two says measure length. So here's what we're measuring up here. This segment right here, AB, is what we're measuring. Now, I want you to notice on your protractor, you have inches, right? We are not, and I repeat, not measuring in inches today. We are never going to measure in inches or degrees or anything when we do constructions. The only thing we're doing is making arcs, circles, and straight lines. That's it. So again, you are not going to just say, that's about one inch. That's about one inch. Don't do it that way. Here's how you're going to do it. When it says measure, look at the picture. That's how they want you to measure. So I want you to take your compass. Okay. Put the pointy part at A and the pencil at B, just like I just did. Okay? That is what we call measuring it. You're measuring it with your compass. Once you have that, that was step two, measuring the length. I did that. Step three says to take that over to your new segment down here. It says literally just the word copy. And that's what we're going to do. So, I'm going to take this length, put my pointy part on the, on the dot, and make a little arc. Okay? So, this arc is a point that should be just as long as A, B up here is A, B down here. Don't these look equal? And if you did it correctly, they will be equal. Okay? So what I want you to try is at the bottom, I want you to try to copy this AB. Again, step one, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to draw a long segment, put a point on it. All I got to do next is measure AB and mark it 
And now I have my new A, B. When you finish that one, you want to go to the back of this page and try numbers 1, 2, and 3. 2 and 3 might be a little challenging, but you can do it. You just add two segments together. Okay, so go ahead and try that now. I'm going to show these three fairly quickly. On uh, number one, CD, once again, draw a long line, put a point. You want to measure from C to D like this, and then you just bring it down, make a little arc, and there is your new point. That would be CD. Now, what do you think we do for AB plus EF? What do y'all think we do for AB plus EF? You put one, and you put the next one right next to it. Literally, they'll be touching and sharing a point. Okay? So first, let's do AB from here to here. So I'm measuring AB. Bring it down here. Make my mark. So using that point, that's AB. And now I need to measure EF, which is over here off to the side. So for EF, I measure from here all the way over to here. That's EF. And I'm just going to put this right after AB using that B point that I had right here. Sorry, it was off screen. So EF, I measured up here, bringing it down here, and I'm just putting it right after it on the end. So there's my AB plus EF. Now, any crazy ideas? What do you think 2CD means? Just put CD two times, yeah. You don't have to multiply any numbers or anything. You're just doing it twice. So, once again, put a long segment with the point. Okay, so I put it down here. I'm going to go up and measure CD. Once I have CD measured... You could, it, don't blink, because this is going to be fast. So I got my CD marked, and then my next CD at the end marked. Ta-da! So again, it was CD twice. Same lengths. So each of those makes it CD and CD, right? All right, so that's how you do two CD. All right, on the next page we have...